Right, he's wanted a few more comparison videos for tools. Other ones are going to be nut guns. So I'm going to do a wee comparison of these four. These are probably the biggest sellers that we would do anyway. Starting off with the Makita. This is the DTW1002. Max torque, 1000 euro, 1000 newton meters. Nut busting, 1600. Decent machine. Get spare parts for it for up the fail, not a problem. Good power, boys like them, reliable. You normally get them after they're well busted up. Very good battery attention system. This year is actually loose, separate housing. Bushings on side for keeping the battery tight. Steel plates to stop the battery wearing. Very good system for batteries not wearing out or burning contacts. Batteries are all flat. Milwaukee, this is the most popular one. Not a fan as you know, but if you're needing power, that is the Milwaukee. Milwaukee's got the most torque, 13.56 newton meters, and the biggest nut busting torque, 18.98 newton meters, nut busting torque. This is the one key one, FHIWF12. Main reason I don't like these here ones is battery retention. Same problem as always with Milwaukee. Battery retention is only on them two spots there. Plus the pins don't get a lot of contact with the battery. So these ones wear away in here, which this one actually already has worn. See down in here, you can see where the plastic just worn away, so that battery becomes loose after a while, which then leads to it. Flap it about. But if you need power, that's the one to buy. Next one then is the Bosch. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this one only comes in three quarter inch. So you'll have to have three quarter inch drives for this. But it is quite high torque. So probably one of the bigger ones, apart from the Milwaukee. So it's 1050 max torque and 1700 nut busting or breakaway torque. Good machine, good battery attention. Boys who buy them do seem to like them quite a bit. Good and reliable as well. Yeah, decent. Wouldn't be as popular a machine for some reason. Most people don't go for this one. But still a very good machine if you're looking for. If you have Bosch batteries, definitely would be a good machine. Next one then is probably the cheaper one, the Dewalt. This is a DCF 899. Quite good, a lot of boys use them because most boys do have Dewalt gear, it'll probably be the second most popular after the Milwaukee. They do come on well busted up after a while, a lot of steel fabricators would use this here, but it does have the lowest power. So power in that one is 950Nm and max nut busting is 1625 Good system as well, Dewalt for the batteries, nice good heavy detent for actually holding on the battery in place. Don't really see these coming loose. You don't see the Bosch ones coming loose either, or the Makita ones, or the Hitachi or Hikoki ones as well. Don't have the Hikoki one here. Not doing a comparison because that one's technically the was it a 36 volt or something, the bigger voltage sort of, so wouldn't be a fair comparison. Repair wise in these here, Dewalt wouldn't be the best. Stator, controller, switch, battery retainers, all one piece. Everything inside the anvil and that is separate, you can change, gearbox, anvil itself, not a problem there, but motorways, once something goes wrong, you're nearly burning it. Bosch, very good, very good for repair wise, nearly everything in this is separate, apart from the gearbox. Nearly certain you can't buy the anvil separate, might be wrong in that, I'll have to check on it. But the gearbox, all one piece. Motor unit is separate from the actual controller unit, so you can buy the motor and you can buy the controller separately. One fail, you don't have to buy the two together. Switch is separate and the wee LED display down here, that control board is also separate. Milwaukee repair wise, about the same as the Dewalt. Whole motor, switch, battery attention, controller, PCB, all one piece inside. So if your battery contracts wear out, you have to change the whole motor. Inside the gearbox system, a lot of parts are grouped together. Anvil is still separate as well, so if you bust that, it's not a problem. Rotor as well, you can buy the rotor not separate, and the back case in here. That's actually what re retains the bearing inside, so you can buy that separate. Wear wise, you do get a while out of these on for repair. 
like this one here is actually was in for a pair and it's not even that old as you can see Makita personal favorite as a nut gun ways quite good we sold a lot of these to boys on boats and a fishing village nearby they were buying the Milwaukee's but they were failing within the year and then they were constantly breaking them outside of warranty not being repaired changed the Makita haven't had a problem since Makita is the best battery attention system repair ways you can buy all the parts in these as well whole gearbox everything separate the controller and the PCB the stator sorry and the PCB board as one piece rotor separate switches separate as well so switch fails you can still change that without changing the whole PCB retainer as well is all separate repair ways outside of warranty in that quite good for repairing what do I recommend generally if you have to have the power as most boys say this is the most powerful if you have to have the power that is the one to buy outside of that there if you're just doing wee bits around the house or something you don't need it constantly go with the one that you have the batteries for so i'll be going for makita because i have makita batteries that was going to be the cheapest one for me if i was buying one outside of that i would actually be going for the bosch one that seems a very good decent machine there Outside of that, if I needed the power, you'd be needing the Milwaukee. Dewalt's good, that is probably the best price wise, especially if you already have the batteries. But yeah, all decent machines, some better than others. Don't have a snap on here to compare because that's just an independent sort of company. We wouldn't have them here in the shop. Yeah, don't like the Milwaukee, but they are the most powerful. Makita's quite good, very good, especially in a wet environment. Bosch, not as popular, but brilliant wee machine. Dewalt, the weakest of them all. Best, best price of them all also.